the situation that we have right here is 1,700 square kilometers of phenomenal black rhino habitat, which is uninhabited at the moment. What we hope to do is to re-establish a healthy black rhino population in the Western Serengeti. It's been work in progress and an ongoing dream for many people that have been involved in the Gumedi Fund. Black rhino, they just have such a presence about them, you know, they just command a certain level of respect. The only way to get aggressive East African rhino into a crate is to dart them with pretty potent opioid drugs. You need a team that knows what they're doing and importantly you need, you need some luck on your side. They are unpredictable animals and many things can go wrong. We should be sitting at probably the better part of six, seven hundred thousand black rhino in Africa at the moment. And there are probably only 750 of those left. It's a huge undertaking to move a rhino to Tanzania, but not just that, this is just the beginning, you know, this is just the tip of the iceberg. This is actually the start of an extremely long commitment. We could definitely have chosen an easier line of work to do. Everything is a challenge, nothing is easy. It's a long journey for any animal, never mind a black rhino. Every animal is vitally important. It really is a good news story not only for the rhinos themselves and Kremeti, but also for the people of Tanzania. I just feel privileged and honored in a situation like that, that we're able to be doing something meaningful to safeguard these animals. I think it speaks volumes to the diversity of skills and experience that's within the team we have. And these are the parts of the job that make it all worthwhile. This is enormously significant. This little nucleus that we've brought across here is nearly 10% of the total population in Tanzania. Okay, down, down. Tanzania is a very, very long way away from South Africa. So when the rhinos were released in the Boma, I mean, there was a serious sense of relief. It's one step closer to success. To get them here safely is a wonderful feeling. With black rhino in particular, that are browsers. They've, they're now in a totally new habitat to where they've come from. Over the next couple of weeks, they will be offered a smorgasbord of vegetation and slowly introduce them to the plant material that's available to them in this new habitat. All black rhino are uh, spirited, shall we use that word? They are very much all individual characters, just like us. A lot of people think black rhinos are aggressive. They are more, I'd probably use the word complex and sensitive. On the day of release, we'll put the tracking devices into their horns, which will give the teams on the ground the ability to track the animals 24 hours a day. Very 
apologize for getting up at all. That's it. At the end of the day, bringing rhinos back to the Serengeti, I mean, that's an awesome story. My hopes for the future is that in 10 years from now, this population has doubled in size, and I think that's a real possibility.